me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks, and this is my vlog of the Haywood Mall located in Greensville, South Carolina, man. Stay tuned. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also comment down below if you've ever been to South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina, you ever been to this mall, and also comment down below what's the best shoe you've seen in this mall and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, take nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. The reason why I was in South Carolina was because I went to this conference located at Clemson University called the Men of Color Summit and it was definitely a great conference, had a lot of keynote speakers, you know, just really dropping jewels. And I really am glad that I was able to attend this conference. And I thought it was actually gonna be at Clemson University, but it wasn't, it was like located in a suburb outside of where Clemson is called Greenville, South Carolina. But even though the conference is not located near Clemson University, I still was able to go ahead and check out everything. And man, they got one of the best campuses I've ever been to, man. Like the, the stadium is just completely plush. Like the, the campus is like very nice and rich with history. Overall, it was definitely a great time at Clemson and also at the Men of Color Summit. But anyways, let's get into the vlog. Now this is the coldest part right here. Watch this, just walk forward, boom. Doors open sesame for your boy, me and my kicks. <laughs> at the van store and at the front of the door, they got these different types of vans. Like got the little stripe right here and the vans logo up top. I haven't seen these before. And hand, these not bad though. Then they got these all black hats. And you know, just the regular vans look, uh, lineup. I don't know who the artist this is, but like he got a couple of uh, vans, he got some highs, and he got some lows. These highs not bad, and if you can see, it got that little like checkerboard, like midsole, and on the black ones, they got like a black checkerboard midsole. That's pretty decent. These vans pretty decent right here. Got like a corduroy, like middle that's yellow. Got the regular suede toe. They also got it in the high as well. This is a pretty different uh, vans, old school on the back, say off the wall, and it like kind of translates from. What kind of transitions from a white and red to a white and black. Nice little detail right there. Overall, just not bad at all. They made a uh, Davy Bowie collection. Here's the highs from it. In my opinion, I'm not really a fan of the Bowie collection. This one decent. I don't think they got any more. They probably sold out, but overall, I'm not really a big fan of the Bowie collection. They really pushing out these 720s. It's a white and pink version of it. Got like a, a light gray like violet version of it got this black with a little like iridescent upper and like a teal version and they got the bomb pop joints this is an interesting pair of the, um, NMDs got like a gum back a uh, black checker black square right here and the Adidas with the gum bottom nice little decent contrast in color and then they got this pink one I like this um, little square in the back it, Got the little tropical joint with the pink. These not bad at all. And got a nice like Valentine's Day joint. Red, white with the pink, straight up. They got the Game of Thrones, Hear Me Roar joints up in here. I haven't seen any of the man sizes of these shoes. These saw that real quick. And hand these okay. I like the ones with like the dragon, like multicolored toe in the front better. I like a tan, pink, and a white colorway on any shoe, but for some reason it's thrown off on these Air Force One gestures. Like if these are just regular Air Force Ones, these be so cold.
I usually don't do this, but I need to go ahead and start vlogging what I be wearing to these malls. So I got this Go Get It uh, Money Run Clothing T-shirt that E Money Shoes hooked me up. I'm gonna put his uh, uh, channel up here somewhere, so definitely subscribe to him. But it's like in black and black and royal blue. Then I got got the Sharpie phones on deck, you know, to match it. You know, some regular black pants, but. Overall, I think this fit pretty decent. Also, if you haven't, go ahead and check out Money Run Clothing. I'll put up that link above. Also, I have their stuff in the description. Money Run Clothing. They make pretty nice clothing. They got it in like all colors. Like you can get a pink shirt, a white shirt. You can get the same design on any color shirt you want. Definitely check them out. Money Run Clothing. This recent uh, Volt pack that Nike released is pretty weird. Like they got a Vapor Max with a little bit of Volt in it. Got this 720. They also got this 270. Then they got this Nike Air Max Plus. I don't know like the whole theme of this Volt pack, but some shoes smack like these, but these is meh. These smack, and these just kind of ugly. So, eh, they, they did it half right. These Air Max ones just dropped. Um, they got like white, pink with a little bit of lime green in it. Overall, I'm not really a big fan of this colorway. Like, they really need to like stop making so many colors of this. But in hand, eh, I'm just not really feeling these at all. They also made a uh, matching Nike Air Max Plus, uh, same colorway as those uh, Air Max ones. These not bad. I like these better than the ones, but I still wouldn't buy these for retail. Retail 160, definitely wouldn't buy these at retail though. They got the Crimson Tint one sitting here. Uh, it's probably like a size 12. It's like a big, pretty big size, like a return. And they got these fours, the Citron fours, for 160. That's not a bad sale price. They got the Orlando's for 150. They got a lot of sales going on. These uh, Jordan shoes. Got these recent uh, white and navy blue skin, uh, snake skin 11s. I'm not really a fan of these. I like the white and pink ones way better. Got the KD 12s in hand. And hand, I really like these shoes, but I need a good colorway. The only good colorway that I've seen is the EYBL joints. Limited 12th edition. Oh, that's nice. Nice little uh, iteration in the back. And what does it say right here? Quad Axial Flywire. These look like these would be pretty comfortable just to walk around in, too. They go to MPLS uh, LeBron 16s. These not bad at all. I, if I get these on a the nice sale, I'll get these. As you can see on the mid, so... It's like a paint splatter. I like this color scheme on that. Uh, I definitely get these on sale. Got these uh, LeBron 16 lows, like a army camo theme. These is trash in my opinion. I wouldn't get these at all. These are some good prices on these Tims that they got right here, 99 bucks for the regular joints. These pretty decent, man. Can't even lie. These are uh, calling my name, man. I really want to get these, but I'm not paying 100 for no when the shoes and some about to be around the corner. This is a new type of NMD they got going on with like the back that's like black and then they got the four color like a red. They got it in the three different colorways. It's not bad. I wouldn't get them personally, but I still like the colorway overall. I need these shoes to go on sale, man. The New Balance 997Hs. I know they only 90 bucks, but I need them for like 50, bro. I'll get these instantly. Definitely a great shoe. Got the Curry 6s in a San Francisco Giants colorway since they are the San Francisco Warriors. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of this colorway. I'm not really a big fan of the Sixes at all, but this is a nice little chill colorway though. Popping up in Foot Locker. And it looks like they got some foams in the front cases. Uh, you know it's kind of bad when they got these weak shoes in the front cases. I thought they was going to have a little bit of heat, but nah. They got these Nike Air Max 720s. I like this colorway better than the all black ones, but... Overall, these still kind of trash in my opinion, but I'll take these over the all black ones. And then they got these like basketball 720 joints. They okay. I don't know why they gave you pink laces. That's weird. And got these foams I showed you earlier. I don't know what colorway this is. It reminds me of like a pumpkin, but hey, you know, if you collect foams, you should definitely add this to the collection. It checks all the bo boxes. Also, I like that all black like bottom pretty decent it's a new color air force one that recently dropped got like that white with the orange hints on there it's not bad it's not bad at all i don't really collect air force ones like i usually do but 
If this was 03, 04, I'd have definitely copped these, no problem. Got the Crimson's uh, here too, I guess. And men's sizes, these didn't really sell that good. But the, the babe sizes, those sold out like crazy. It's not a bad NMD colorway. All black with like a red bottom. It's not bad at all. Definitely something you could give a little kid or something to walk around in. And these like blocks, it's like a lighter black, kind of like offsets. Pretty decent. It's a cute colorway in the um, Nike Air Max Vapor, Plus, Vapor Max Pluses. For the girls, a little orange gradient all the way into pink. It's pretty decent. Definitely a nice little summer shoe for the girls. They got the UFO Kyrie's in the glass case. These just came out. Not a bad colorway, but I, I'm not like too crazy over this color, personally. This is a pretty weird uh, colorway in these Nike flight posits. Like a nice little iridescent. Pretty decent. Apparently they put some Air Max 95's um, part of that Volt Pack. First time seeing these, these okay. I wouldn't put these over the uh, Vapor Max though. Also, they look like they got a, a new version of the Nike Air Vapor Max 2018-19 in the Volts. These trash, very trash. You got the Nike Air Max 98, the NYC editions. And hand, these not bad. These really are a representation of New York City. I, I'm not a real fan of this colorway personally, but these sitting everywhere, so if you wanted a pair, you can definitely get them. Maybe get these on sale. These are Adidas newest baby, the Adidas Night Jogger, just like they did those ugly, clunky shoes that didn't really sell out. I think these gonna sell. These got boots in it, and they look kind of sleek, and they gonna throw them in a whole bunch of colorways that people gonna like, and they also threw 3M on it as well, so I think these gonna sell more than, I forgot the name of those shoes, but I'll put it on the side of me so you can see what I'm talking about. I think that he's gonna sell a little bit decent under those. 130, get these on sale for like 170 one day, 60 bucks. I can see myself rocking these. This is my first time seeing the triple black Vapor Max just sitting in the shelves. I wanna say these the, these are like the third iteration of the Vapor Max or the 4.0s, 3.0s. Got them sitting here for 190. I got the 1.0s. I did a review on that, I'll put it up above, but I love my 1.0 all black joints. They also got them in like an all white or all platinum joint as well. Pretty decent. Uh, I like the 1.0s way better than this iteration, but still pretty decent though. So this mall got a foot action, foot locker, champs, and the finish line. They check all the boxes as far as like shoe places to go to in my opinion see what this place talking about this place pretty small but look like they got the crimson ones the platinum ones some jordan one mids just overall ain't really nothing here that i haven't seen at these other malls so got the mocha threes got the tinker threes got the laney fives those nines the twos yeah, overall just pretty mess selection not nothing too crazy all right guys that is the end of the vlog once again shout out to money run clothing for the shirt i'll put down the link to their website below check them out whenever you get a chance they got great shirt designs and you can get it put on dang near any color shirt that you want but overall just a great company price is not crazy just go ahead and check them out whenever you get a chance also shout out to e-money shoes man definitely a great shoe tuber great youtuber he put me on the website and he also gifted me that shirt so once again shout out to you i really appreciate it but anyways hit that thumbs up if you like this video comment down below what's the best shoe you've seen in this video if you've ever been to greenville south carolina south carolina in general or to the haywood mall comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section also if you aren't subscribed to the channel what are you doing man hit that subscribe button it takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified on when i drop future videos overall like my opinion of the mall it was pretty decent like that was one of the smallest foot actions i've ever been to but like the foot locker was decent had decent merch um champs was okay but just overall the mall was pretty decent don't expect any crazy heat in that type of area but if you want like the regular general releases and things like that more than likely that's still going to have it to you man and lastly peace